Hold that like AMC stock, babe. Uh, breaking out the bubba net first thing, ladies and gents. Welcome back to the channel. It is myself with Jay gone fishing. Woo. Up, Devin behind the camera. We're gonna go try and catch some giants, man, on the last day of the Bassmaster Classic. The pros are out there hitting Ray Roberts up. We're gonna see if we can't bear on a smaller lake on the John boat today and uh, have some fun in the process. We're gonna be throwing some big baits. Today's episode, by the way, is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. More on that in a little bit. Let's go ahead and get to the water and have some fun, man. I'm ready to catch some big ones. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay. We're officially rolling. All right, y'all, making the first cast. It is T-Rigs all around the John boat. We're just kind of hitting this cliff right here with a steep drop off for a second. Then we're going to make a move to some shallows, try and find this little pattern this morning. Jay actually, while he was just kind of messing around, threw a cast right behind him against this thing and got a bite on the first one. Uh, <laughs> he didn't connect because we were just kind of chatting it up. It was his first cast. Wasn't expecting it at all. <laughs> so hopefully, uh, hopefully that means they are biting though. So let's get this thing started, man. Epic day on the John boat with three of us in this thing. Our uh, $1,500 purchase is going a long way this morning. <laughs> this is top speed right here. This is as good as it gets. Got him. Nice, Jay. Nice, dude. Hog, just straight tank. First fish in the boat. Yes. That is what we're looking for. Nothing like a little confidence boost though. Catching a fish pretty quickly, guys. That's always a plus. There's two. There's a double up. Nice, He's a little bigger. He's a little bigger. That did not take long at all. Oh, I almost T-Rigs. T-Rigs, we almost have a triple up. Devin, get one, get one, get one. Wow, homie is. Oh wow. Oh wow. She's a nice, pretty fish, dude. Yes, sir. All right. There we go. Let's cheers. Woo! Cheers it up, baby. And let's get a little uh, Instagram story if you don't mind. You want to get a little something for the gram? You got to do it for the gram. Yeah, double up. Bam! There goes the first double up of the day with Jay. And you know what we're rocking? We got the banditos on deck, baby. All right, guys. First uh, couple bass in the boat. That was so sick. A double up on the Texas rigs to get the morning started right off this little beaver dam deal. So, uh, yeah, I will take that all day. All day. See ya. How much time you spend catching bass all day? We got, uh, yeah, just grab whatever you need. We got plastics for days nice Ooh, one. sick oh that's a good one nice dude nice. Oh. oh yeah that's that's that upper two to three that's the upper two range right there that's a good one <laughs> t-rigs and boat flips man jay's having a good old morning flipping them crawls baby that one's like probably upper twos dude yeah it's chunk here let me get you let me get you on your big camera i think you've got it on your settings so just turn just go ahead and hit the uh on the red on the side right here. yep all right guys we've been here for probably 15 minutes i wonder do we have one we got the saucy swimmer casting straight i'm gonna cast uh i'll let y'all hit the reeds i'm gonna try Ooh. she always catches tanks as soon as i decide to try and throw something else is it a fish do you have something oh. <laughs> is it a, oh, what is it no it's a warm mouth or whatever war, war, it's war, a warhead it's sour <laughs> wait are you sure he's not a sour patch <laughs> you're eating that's like a crappie hybrid <laughs> y'all in the comments no, what are we working with here y'all do you see that belly should we throw him out on a circle hook no oh my god look do y'all want to see live bait we would catch a 10 on that if there's a 10 in here oh my gosh have a circle hook. i i could find one guys my first fish of the morning we don't even really know what it is i don't know but this guy's been eating that he is a chunk get him back in the water target the real species and uh hopefully catch a big one peace all right let's see what happens with the old mag draft we got a couple bites got a couple fish in the boat i'm gonna toss this around just for a second the hydro is pretty good back here i think kind of just below the surface so this should be in front of their face if i just kind of creep them slow right here in this line kind of out from the reeds here just kind of cast them parallel to the bank um maybe i get a big one i think if i was throwing a texas rig everywhere i've casted this i would have caught another one by now you got one you got one good one i think hey jay will you grab that net yeah you might have something here huh this could be this could be nice oh, that's a good net, one net 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 net, net, net. nice you're good you're good you're good babe bring this thing home oh it's a good one 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 
Oh, easy. Dip that rod a little bit. Dip that rod a little bit. Give him a little bit more angle. Oh no! No! Tank, babe. Tank. That might be a. That's over five, but how much? That's six. <laughs> My heart is stopping right now. Look oh, at that hook. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Devin, on him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, I don't know. That might be bigger. What is that on? The T rig. Okay, hold on. Spot lock that we don't have. Go ahead. There we go. Holy. Look at that mouth. Look at that fish! Hold on tight. Oh my god. Yeah, hold that thing up. Yeah, we're good. Wait for it to hold. Oh my god, I'm a shaking. Wait for it to beep. What you got? Six Six. Pounds, six. six ounces. Dang! All right, y'all. This is, I'm pretty sure, the biggest fish I've caught of this entire 2021 season. Six pounds, six ounce monster on that Texas rigged Bandito bug. I wanna say it was the blue baby color, but did some work. We uh, already got the weight on it, obviously. We're gonna go ahead and put it on the board. I wanna see what she measures out to and grab a couple pictures and get her back in the water. All right, big girl measured out to be just at 22 inches. Good old plump summer bass for you. We're gonna go ahead and get her released. Try and get even some more of this quality. Nice. Oh yeah. Nice, Jay's on. Big one, really. Two bigs. Hi, nice, hi. on the tiny clash, on the TK. What is even happening right now? Yes. The big one is literally still in the water. Oh wait, I'm not filming, I'm not filming. Cruising, cruising. Did that just happen, man? Ooh. Biggest fish of the year, 6'6". Six, six. Wow. Jay, just the so guide nice. from down in Austin, Texas, man, just put us on. <laughs> Freaking good luck charm. Wow. That's like a six and a half to really just start our morning. And we didn't even rush to get out here. It's 10 a.m., you guys. Uh, it's that was hot. my first bass. First, that was Devin's first bass in the boat. I, I, do I not get outfished every single time we're together? I know you guys drop the comments, especially on Instagram, and if you guys aren't following us over there, we appreciate all your support. We just crossed 100,000 recently followers. Uh, it would mean the world to us if you go drop us a follow. You'll be able to see this catch, for instance, before the video is released. Uh, I think you guys are gonna get a kick out of the behind the scenes if you watch the stories. If you're not on Instagram, don't even worry about it, but it's a good way to keep up with us before the videos ever drop, so. What an absolute tank. We're gonna go ahead and keep fishing. There's no need to be talking to you guys on the camera when the bite is hot. We just need to be trying to get some more. So let's uh, not dilly dally y'all. Let's get back in it. All right, you guys, you just saw the biggest catch of the year, but we have a lot more in store for you guys. But quickly, I wanted to tell you about today's sponsor, Mystery Tackle Box. So with this service, you guys get new baits shipped to your door every single month. A great way to experience new baits you've never fished with, try new lures, learn new techniques, and uh, simply get new baits every month. It's like Christmas every single month at your Door. You can get your first box for as low as $10 in the description with code WESTON at checkout on mysterytacklebox.com. This month's box has got some crank baits. We got a shallow diver right here, shad pattern. If you guys are in the shad spawn, this is going to be absolutely phenomenal. And if not, sexy shad style colors have been one of my favorites and confidence go to's when it comes to colors across the board on crank baits since the very beginning of fishing for us. We also have more of a, a micro crankbait here, but a bit of a deep diver. This thing is gonna slay and as a bite-sized morsel for bass from the smallest size all the way up to those giants. When you crank this down in front of their face, get ready for the bites. We've also got a swim jig in here, a nice bright shad colored swim jig, perfect for ripping right through the thickest grass. So those crankbaits you're gonna wanna work down like on rock, have them kind of bumping along the bottom with that square bill. This guy right here, you're gonna wanna work in the thick grass to catch those bass. We also have some hooks in there, some EWG styles for your favorite soft plastics. It looks like these are four aught, and that is the perfect size for most every Guggen bait you ever see us throw, as well as what we have in here. We got some little grub style baits, they're called the Evil Twin, and this is a uh, seven count, they're green pumpkin. We caught some bass on the green pumpkin colors today, so you know they work. 
You also get some swim baits. Usually we catch them on the swim baits with a little underspin. These are the perfect little paddle tail green coloration, very natural, clear water. This is gonna be slaying. You can throw this on just a weighted belly hook or an underspin, that's our go-to. Or you could even toss those on a little net head, like a little mushroom jig, and you'll catch a bunch of fish on them, finessing down. This is the perfect spring and summer box right here. Absolutely gonna catch fish. And it's catered to what you want to catch all year round. So you can go ahead and put in that you wanna go for panfish, bass, trout, and you can get a mystery tackle box sent to your door every single month with prizes if you submit your catches, as well as a tips and trick pamphlet so you know how to fish the baits that you're getting each and every month. So let's get right back into the action. See you on the water. Jay, if you want anything to drink, it's all right there, Ready? sir. Yeah, we need a wooden board. Go get that skateboard deck. I kind of want like a cheap blank that's like a bright yeah, color on yeah. top. All right, y'all, Devin is fired up and she's wanna try something different and really target that absolute giant, maybe even a new PB for her. Anything over seven pounds is pretty much gonna do it for Devin and I, that's about our uh, top end right there. After about these last three years of bass fishing with you guys on YouTube, and she is breaking out the brand new 86 baits, uh, Shad Pattern Glide right here, this thing, looks like money and that's because it absolutely is man we paid 225 dollars for this bait i mean it was it this was a little overpriced uh, my opinion they sell for like 185 new maybe 200 150 i really forget but we missed the drop we were uh late to the game and so we had to buy it from a tackle shop out in cali and you know they just kind of charge what they want so we paid 225 for this guy we're throwing it on 20 pound fluorocarbon. 25 would give me a little bit more reassurance, but that's what we got on this rig right here. We're throwing it on a big uh, Mojo bass rod right here, rated for like one to four ounce baits. It's a little stout for some treble hooks, but we're just gonna loosen the drag a little bit, so hopefully we can play these fish out if we get a big bite and not snap off if this rod is a little too much uh, for this specific bait. This is great for soft plastic baits with a single hook little stout for those treble hook baits you want a little bit more bend in the tip and then uh, we got some drt handles aftermarket on this bad boy with some green working class zero knobs this is a tranks 200 that is the gear she's going to be throwing this thing in the water right now y'all so hopefully we can get a big one on this for you guys to uh, break it out in its debut on the channel go ahead and drop a sub for this guy right here if you want to see him thrown or lost in future videos because one of those things is going to happen oh that's bad to the bone Ah, looks like trash. Can't even see it. Yeah, it's a very slow sink, isn't it? We might have to add some weight to it. You might have to give it a second before you start reeling it very slow. Oh, bite. Oh, bluegill. It was peck, peck, peck. I felt pretty confident I had one on the hook right there, but all I got was one less pincher than I started with. This is good. I like this. We got a top water now. We got a T-rig on the bottom, and we got Devin working mid-column with the 86 glide. So we are working every angle at this very moment. There we go. Got one? Nice. What, uh, saucy swimmer? Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, isolated trees now out here in a little bit deeper water. That might be key. Devin got one on the uh, swim bait with the underspin. That's the four inch exo swim on the heavy metal tungsten uh, underspins right there. I think it's a five aught and a quarter ounce or something like that. But another fish on the boat. Tell me when you're gonna drop him in and I'll get that too. Is that a bite? Got one, Texas rig, double up. We're on the uh, we're on the little ones all of a sudden. We have found the little guys. I think we're just going to uh, get these suckers back in the water, try and catch some more. But uh, it's been about 30 minutes since the last bite. Kind of fell off, so we're hitting a new area of the place with Jay behind the camera. It's a good day. They're doing tricks for us, man. <laughs> Woo! I think he's throwing the T-rig. Oh, he is throwing the T-rig. Yeah. You set yours down. Ah. Uh, I'm back on the T-Rig, y'all. <laughs> it's been a hot minute, literally. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, dang. Oh, dang, buddy, what you been eating, T-Rigs? <laughs> Is he off that, was he off the stumps yeah, or was he? Got it, okay. Oh, <laughs> Did it overheat again? <laughs> Jay got another fish. You left the other one on the, uh, In the truck? Potted. Trying something new, y'all. No sugar, no preservative. Celsius. 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 Yeah. We're trying some, Celsius. we're trying some self air and height over here. Live fit, it says, sparkling orange. Yep, essential energy. Accelerates metabolism so you can catch more fish faster. Burns body fat so you feel a little lighter on those hook sets. And it's got the energy to have you uh, ripping them hogs right out of the brush piles. So, uh, yeah. Sounds like a Celsius ad, but nope, I'm just trying to uh, show you guys what I'm drinking. Well, y'all, sorry for the lighting on this shot. We're just cruising over to these last bit of deep trees on the uh, fastest trolling motor speed, trying to cool off. It's like almost 100 out here, man. It's like getting very toasty. We literally just got in and out this morning. Devin caught the biggest fish of the year while the Bassmaster Classic is going on. Hopefully them pros are catching fish twice as big as that today because it is the grand finale. And uh, we're here to see who wins that thing on the, ba I think Bassmaster.com is where you can go to check out who uh, won the daggum thing. 
It's actually still early. They haven't even weighed in yet. It's 11 o'clock right now. I think Hank Cherry is in the lead with like 37 pounds as of yesterday, but today, who knows what could happen. Anyways, y'all, we're going to hit these trees, and we'll probably catch y'all at the ramp over here and close her out. Thank you all for sticking around. Don't leave just yet, though, because I think there's a chance for a giant ride off of these stumps right out here in the deep water. Let's go ahead and cast in here. This is pretty deep right here. Uh, nice, great. Jay. I'm letting them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's another good one. Devin, it's another good one. <laughs> yep. 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 It's another good one. <laughs> Jay. No go Jay got a hog. No go Jay just got a hog off the trees. <laughs> oh, we just stopped filming. If you want that Celsius drink while it's still cold. There we go. Jay, yes, dude. Cranking them off the freaking trees right now. Golly. Hey. Oh, oh no, oh no, he's swimming towards me. Oh, it's a little guy. Golly, he hit it hard. I didn't know what I had right there for a second. I was like, this might be okay, but he's no. Angry. Yep, he came straight at us too. I set the hook and it was just slack. I'm like, okay, this could actually be a big fish coming at me. But, uh, you know, fool me once. <laughs> See you, bud. Wowzers. Chunk, Jeez, yeah, I know. I like... That thing's gonna be a 10 if he keeps eating like that. <laughs> he hasn't. Golly. Thank goodness I didn't close it out right there and told you guys to stick around because I think we just caught four fish in the last four minutes, man. This is a, a little ridiculous. They just simply moved out deep as it got warm today, so that's uh, just the move. We're kind of finding them out in the uh, cooler, I would assume, temperatures. Just down there away from the sun a little bit, hanging out, chilling out, you know. They don't want to be burning up down there as much as we don't want to be burning up out here, so you got to find them in their comfort zone. And it seems like it's lunchtime down there, so maybe a couple more casts. Hold on real quick, I'm just going to pull this a little bit more. Hold on, Jay. Well, y'all, thank you for sticking around till the end in the trees. I forgot to film the outro at the boat ramp, but speaking of trees, ours took a little spill yesterday. We had a bad thunderstorm come through. It was actually the, it was yesterday. It was uh, the morning of the second day of the Bassmaster Classic where they had a two and a half hour delay. I think the wind just annihilated this thing, and so we got to chop her down because now half the tree is putting weight on these lower branches, and you can see she's hanging pretty low. So um, let's see if my five foot seven self can get up here and tackle this. I'm gonna have to get in here. She's pretty thick. We're gonna have a goofy looking tree. You wanna hop in here, Jay? Yeah. Look, y'all gotta go subscribe to Jay Gone Fishing for this right here. Coming in clutch. I loosened it up for him. I think it should be pretty easy. Yo, I forgot. When it was all iced over in Texas, we bought this thing for some ice fishing. Might be able to get her down with this bad boy right here. Oh my gosh. Alright y'all, the storms couldn't stop us and in fact they put us on a good bite today. I hope y'all enjoyed this episode with Jake on fishing. He brought the luck and we caught the biggest fish of the year right along with the Bassmaster Classic going on this weekend, man. And it is the final day, so we may even showcase a little extra footage. I don't know what we're going to do, but thank you guys so much for sticking around till the end. We'll catch you on the next one. That's what we're left with, y'all.